Hi guys, this is Kenny. And today I'm going to take you back to the summer of 2003, Baghdad, Iraq. In my book, Scoundrels in Iraq, Chapter 6 is called, Why I Stole a Bulldozer. Now in the summer of 2003, Saddam Hussein was in hiding. The population was in shock. The Iraqi military had just blended back in with the civilian population. And I got a hot mission. My social media guru, Barb, suggested that I reenact it using toy soldiers. And that's exactly the kind of stupid shit that I excel at. So, let's go back in time. It started by Tony calling me to the head shed, which is what we call the Tactical Operations Center. He said, Kenny, I got a hot one for you. I said, really, sir? What's that? He said, there is a D9 high track, up armored, all by itself at the Central Railroad Yard in Baghdad. We are at Baghdad International Airport. This was our home. It's not far away, he said. Maybe about a 10 minute drive. What do you think about going and getting it? So I asked a stupid question. Whose is it? He said, well, it says Caterpillar on the side of it, so it's America's. Go get it. So I thought about the moral and legal repercussions of what this officer was asking me to do, and I said, okay. Now this D-9 high track was up armored. The Israeli defense forces call it the teddy bear because it's so mean. We're talking 55 tons, 13 feet to the top of the cab. The blade is 14 feet long and seven feet high, as tall as Shaquille O'Neal. This thing can really push. And there it was at the Central Railroad Yard in Baghdad, sticking out like a sore thumb. All we had to do is do a little hasty perimeter and it was ours for the taking, I mean appropriating. Now for the soldiers of the 169th Engineer Battalion, taking the teddy bear was child's play, about as difficult as making a finger painting for your mom when you're six years old. A little bit of ether into the carburetor and va -voom! The hydraulic oils started warming up. Right at that point, a guy from the neighborhood riding a bike just goes right through our perimeter like, it's like nothing. It was 120 degrees outside. Always appropriate things in the middle of the day. Best way to get away with it. And I waved at him and he waved back. No big deal. The engineer's on the make. Eventually, one of the operators was able to actually try to get it onto the low boy trailer. It was like a bull mounting a cow. Lots of screaming and moaning and groaning and and the wheels are almost about ready to pop and we get the beast loaded. We got it chained down and we got ready to go home. It only took about 20 minutes. So when we got back to Baghdad International Airport, our home base, we hung $30,000 worth of parts, which we got from Southern Illinois, to get it up to technical inspection standards. Then we gave the teddy bear to the Marine Corps, because they already had one. I told Tony I had done the job. You see, the Marines used their teddy bears to assault positions, but because there was ballistic glass all the way around the turret, the operators could operate the teddy bear with impunity. You go right through walls. You knock down buildings. You go over buildings. So ask yourself the why. Why did I steal a bulldozer? To protect the lives of American Marines. That's the why. And if anybody has a problem with it, go ask them. What do you think the Marine Corps will tell you?